Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I will be sharing with you my September favorites. Let's dive right in because September was an excellent month for beauty favorites. But first I have to tell you that these has won my heart. I know, I know it's nothing to do with makeup or beauty in general, but these has kept me hydrated. I love to drink water. That's not a problem with me. But on those days, there was a huge heat wave here in California. These sparkling water in the passion fruit flavor has saved my days. <laughs> absolutely I mean it's a must I absolutely love it and now I have backups going into other favorites I have to tell you about my jewelry I I'm in love with this jewelry I got this gorgeous bracelet from Monica Vinader I absolutely love their pieces I love delicate pieces dainty pieces but I also enjoy very much those pieces that are a little bit more of like a statement piece you have seen this ring over here for a long time but then i got this baby right here and i absolutely love that it's not uniform that you know it doesn't have a certain shape and then i also just got these hoop earrings that i actually just pair with these pearls also by the same brand honestly I'm in love. I also love the type of gold that they use. And I have wear different pieces of Monica Vinader and honestly, they are of the highest quality. Not too long ago, I also got this ring and this green is all in fashion. I'm not using it today because I'm using pearls, but Monica Vinader, they collaborated with Kay Young. And oh my gosh, the pieces are just stunning. Love, 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 love these pieces. And the presentation is just so beautiful. I mean, incredible. And I do, this video is not sponsored by Monica Vinader. I just wanted to share with you the pieces that I have been loving so much right now, but I do have 20% off coupon code with them. I will be leaving all the details of everything that I'm talking about today on the description box below, along with the links for your convenience. Now that you have seen my hands, I have to talk, you know, my friends, I paint my nails at home and the nail polish that I had been enjoying so much are by Chanel. This is in the shade, the nude. This is from their nude fall collection. Absolutely in love. I have worn Chanel nail polish for years and it is of great quality. I don't like too much the actual brush, but the actual product, I honestly love it. And this shade, it's a me shade. I'm very simple with my nail polish. From time to time, I like to, you know, adventure into other colors, but, or a strong, like vibrant colors, but in general, I use nude tones. And then the other nail polish that I use for a week, this one right here, I had had it for almost two weeks and it hasn't cheap, but the other one is Singularite, which is a little bit more pinky in tone. I do have pretty sure a shorts video, an Instagram and a TikTok using like showcasing because I had bought plenty <laughs> of nail polishes from this collection and I actually swatched them and I do have like I said a TikTok, a shorts and whatnot. If you don't follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Instagram is hey is Jacqueline my handle and on TikTok is hey Jacqueline. Thank you so much if you decide to go ahead and follow me there. That would be amazing, incredible. And if you haven't subscribed yet here to my YouTube channel, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any, any of my uploads. Okay, let's move on right here into more favorite fragrances. It's something big for me. I mean, fragrance to me is something that I must have from morning to evening i must have a fragrance and i got the new Masson francis Cushan 724 this is the newest fragrance by mfk and let me tell you this has been my perfect ideal summer into fall morning early afternoon fragrance it's it's clean clean laundry outside airing out i imagine i don't know being kind of like at a garden that has bergamot or some sort of citrus trees and then having these clean linens just drying under the sun 
It's beautiful, it's soft, it's gentle, but the way that it dries down, it really bursts a little bit of the mask, and it has a dry down that, although a lot of people compare it quite a bit to the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540, it's not, but the dry down is just so perfect, so unique, so different. So when I'm telling you this is a clean scent and maybe laundry-like, don't think about anything soapy. No, this this is a little bit more out there. And then for the evening, I have taken two fragrances, you know, out of my entire collection. One of them is right here. It's done for Lost Cherry because not too long ago, I tried Kayali Love Fest, which is based on cherry. And by the way, that one, I'm looking at it. <laughs> it's over there. It's one that I had been using too, kind of like midday and then kind of like trying between both of them. To really see the difference, amazing, both of them love the new Kayali one. It's not as sweet and not as intense as Lost Cherry, which again, it will make it another amazing summer into fall fragrance. I mean, we're officially done with summer, but if you live in an area like mine that there's a still, you know, it's, there's some heat is still where over like above 74, 75 degrees, then you will appreciate those fragrances. And then for the nighttime, I had been taking out this baby. This is BDK Gris Charnel. Mm. Oh, this is just such a beautiful, perfectly balanced scent. Mm. If you love cardamom with a little bit of these fruity, thick, creamy sandalwood scent you will love Grishanel. It's cozy, it's comfortable, it's tender and soft and sophisticated and well balanced, not overpowering, not overly done. Again, cozy and I love the dry down too because it, I think it has iris in it and usually iris can be a little bit soapy and this one doesn't lean soapy. In fact, it just, I don't know, it has some kind of nostalgia for me. It just brings me memories of something in the past that I cannot like really connect, but it brings me comfort. That's how I feel is Grisham now. One of my favorite fragrances for fall and winter. And I have been like, okay, it's time to take it out. And I just sprayed one time for nighttime and it's just perfection going into hair now that i'm touching my hair it feels so soft this is something that don't tell my oldest daughter mia but this is something that she bought you know my friends that i have used olaplex before and i still use the shampoo conditioner also the mask i think it's the number eight mask that i use from time to time i use the number six too you know i kind of like rotate um not too much my i have certain shampoos and conditioners that I use it all the time, mostly my hair mask, but I do have some products that from time to time I just, you know, do a little bit of a break on my hair. But anyhow, my daughter, she went to buy this number nine bone protector. It's a nourishing hair serum. And I'm fascinated about this product. It's antioxidant rich. It's supposed to improve how manageable is your hair. It's smooth and protects. And let me tell you, this smooth your hair beautifully. The thing that I love about it is that it's truly a serum. I mean, like if you have face serums, that very thin, clear consistency that doesn't heavy or weigh down your hair, this is gorgeous. You leave my hair super soft, manageable, extremely smooth, silky, and it doesn't feel like I have too much product on my hair. Honestly, a joy to use this friend right here. And then you know my friends that I use contact lenses. And if you use contact lenses, you know how dry it can be to have contact lenses on. And I have been in love with this BioTrue Hydrating Boost Lubricant Eye Drops. So even when I have my contact lenses on, I can apply you know, like one drop on each eye and it really helps out to keep my eyes very comfortable. It, I don't feel like my vision is blurry, that it hurts or it feels just too much. This just stays in my bag and I take it everywhere whenever well, I'm using my contact lenses. And the next product that I want to talk about is this LED mask by Kurenbari. I'm just 
so impressed about this product. You have to use it constantly. If you do not continue, if you don't have a continuous use, it's honestly, it's, it's not gonna work. You know, you have to be consistent at using the lead mask. But what it has helped me a lot is with my enlarged pores and my redness. I don't have nearly as much redness and I, my, I mean, my pores are there, we all have pores, but they are not so enlarged and not so prominent as they used to be. And then I see that my, I do have fine lines and they, you know, like when I smile, when I laugh, I mean, you can still see them, but they are not so prominent when I'm just like half, you know, like my expression is kind of like serious or I'm just not, you know, like going like, ah, hi, you know what I mean? I have actually noticed a great improvement on the overall health of my skin and I'm pretty sure it's a all about this mask and definitely I owe you a fall winter skincare routine an updated one because I think the last one that I did it was my summer skincare routine or my spring summer so I think I can do another one and perhaps I can show you everything that I do and then before makeup when I really want my makeup to look extremely good or just my skin in general this mask is amazing I have used this mask years ago and then I stopped because I don't know I Sometimes I'm not too consistent with, in terms with, of masks, but sometimes I, you know, I just go for it and kind of pamper myself. Anyhow, is that 111 Skin, is that Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. This is packed with niacinamide. It does have a lot of moisturizing agents in it, but I don't know how this mask does it, but your skin will look kind of glossy, perfected. It actually even, your skin will look even a little bit tighter. I know this mask, um, a lot of celebrities use it for red carpet when they want to look their best. And believe me, it does the job. It's not obviously a permanent job, but if you want to have your makeup look the best, in fact, it leaves not a residue, but kind of, I don't want to say a sticky feeling because I don't want you to feel like, oh, then I need to wash it and all the beauty will disappear. No, not at all. You can wash and your your skin will look as beautiful. I will say at least for 48 hours, but if you wanna use it before your makeup and use it kind of like a primer, it actually helps even with the longevity of your makeup. Is that that good? Now let's go into makeup. In terms of foundation, I am fascinated with this new foundation from Patrick Ta. Honestly, the perfect shade match for me is the one that I'm using today. Easy to use. I like to apply it either with a brush or actually a sponge works really nice. And I like that it's not heavy, that you can just like dab twice with your sponge and it will just go all over your face in a very light layer. It's very perfecting. To me, it does have like a medium coverage. It does have a good longevity. It wears off seamlessly and beautifully. It's not a creamy, creamy formula that is gonna feel like thick. It's not thick at all and whatsoever. And then the other foundation that I have been enjoying quite a bit that is a little bit more glowy, a little bit more luminous, and it's quite perfecting is the one by Orse. Um, I think that's the way that you pronounce it. Oh my gosh, this foundation is stunning. You want the most natural, glowy skin, but not glowy in terms of greasy skin. Fantastic, it's so perfecting, long lasting. I will say more into the eight hour mark, so a full day, you know, a work day kind of time, not all day long, but really, really good foundation. These two foundations, they have really, really impressed me and really, you know, when when you have these products that you try them and it's like, I, I wanna use them again and I wanna use them again. And I mean, for me to say that I do have a ton of makeup, that's saying quite a bit. And now in terms of setting powder, I'm still rocking so much my Christian Louboutin powder. This setting powder is wonderful. It's extremely silky, smoothing on the skin. It blurs in perfection. It does mattify, but more than mattify, it leaves a very natural finish to your skin. Silky like. Honestly, I have not really swatch a product or touch a product like a, a powder like this that is so silky, so smooth. My Gucci one is kind of like that. Same thing with my Dior backstage, but this one is 
extra silky, extra smooth, beautiful, traceless. You can build it up. And I really love, like, if you need to even out your complexion a little, it's not a foundation, but just, you know, if you just need some to just be more even, you know, on, on the overall skin tone, this does the job perfectly and I mean absolutely love the package it's just so so regal now let's dive into blushes the Gucci blushes how fantastic are these blushes they have the most beautiful satin skin like finish with a slight luminosity that is not a highlighter it's not a luminizer it just has the most beautiful finish. Honestly, Gucci has done an amazing job with these blushes, the way that they apply, and the amount of pigment that they have. You can go, you know, tap once and put it in, and I'm sure someone with fair skin tone will rock it just as good as someone with light to medium skin tone. Tap it twice for those who have medium skin tones, Tap it three times. I mean, the, you build the pigment and the pigment is there. It's just fantastic. Some of the shades that I had been, well, you know, my friends, I review all of the shades here on my channel. The shade number five, exquisite. This one is an everyday shade. It's your perfect neutral with just a little bit of coolness in it, but not too, too cool. It's just an amazing shade that works for various skin tones. And then a couple other ones that I really love are number 03 Radiant Pink. It's more like a bubble gum kind of pink, a little bit coral in tone, a little bit more vibrant, but yet so wearable and so beautiful. And then the other shade that I love is Bright Coral. This right here is a true coral tone that is honestly stunning. If you want to see them side by side, again, I do have a video with all the swatches comparisons here. You can really see, you see like this one, the Bright Coral links even a little bit more peachy in tone and it's just beautiful, honestly. Gucci have done a stunning job. And look at this packaging right here. Isn't it this amazing? And they are now available, pretty sure it's at 4 m And when you're watching this video, they, it's going on the friends and family event. So if you have someone that works at Sephora, you, whether it's a friend or family member, they can get you an online code so you can place your order online. It's one time use, but it's 20% off your entire order. So if you're looking into something of these, I don't work at Sephora, so I cannot get you that type of discount, but I know, you know, if you know somebody or if you're a regular client of one of your Sephora's, you can always ask and they're most likely will give it to you. Anyhow, but it's just one time use only. Blushes have been really good <laughs> this month. And another blush that I tried, and I still have it on the package because I still need to get a case for it, is by Clé de Peau. The shade 103 is a stunning, kind of like apricot, leaning coral tone. Clé de Peau does blushes like none other. I think the powder blushes are underrated for clay de pulp. To be honest with you, that's what I think because usually I, we hear everything about the cream clay de pulp blushes, which are incredible, but <laughs> let me tell you that the powder blushes are fantastic. And I think let's go with face palettes. So you know that I review all the new Hourglass Holiday 2022 face palettes, and I have two right here. Um, well, I have the butterfly one on that side over there let me tell you the palettes are beautiful but i stand to what i said before i feel that they need to make of these palettes refillable and magnetic so that way we can choose the shades that we want to choose and even do it in just four you know like quads instead of do you know a six pan palette or ideally a five pan palette but anyhow i have enjoyed the elephant mostly the blushes now for the bronzer i like it but for some reason it leans too orange on my skin tone so then what i have been doing is i have been using my chanel cream bronzer in the medium shade and then over top going with this bronzer and i find out that the combination of these two it balances out you know kind of that orange hint of the bronzer on this palette but if i have to tell you the palette that i love the most out of these hourglass 2022 holiday palettes is the one in tiger not only because of packaging but honestly because it's the one that gives me the most versatility 
love to use this is a finishing powder or setting powder for those with deeper complexions by the way do you know that hourglass have launched the setting powders and finishing powders for deeper skin tones in singles yes they have but anyhow this is not a bronzer but for me it works excellent as a bronzer it has the perfect reddish undertone that is not too red not too cool tone it's incredible i'm using these two as highlighters perfectly fine this is a little bit deep but not too deep for me and then this i have been using it just for eyeshadow like simple simple eyeshadow and then these two blushes this blush is stunning this blush is existing blush so this palette out of all of them not only by packaging but the versatility of the products inside has been the winner of all of them and now the face palette that i will highly recommend you if you haven't gone ahead and purchased it yet is a new pillow talk beautifying face palettes by charlotte tilbury now i have both of them and i have done first a review of the deepest one which is gorgeous love this beautiful peachy tone and this reddish tone absolutely gorgeous but if i have to tell you which one i love the most and the one that i'm wearing today is this baby right here the fur to medium is stunning again i do have separate reviews with comparison swatches for each of these palettes a stunning, a stunning palette this one is the one that wins my heart completely and is the one that i'm using today it's perfection honestly it gives me the right amount of pigmentation it gives me that signature charlotte tilbury pillow talk look that traditional angels look that's what this palette gives you not only that both of the palettes present a new formulation. This right here is called the Multi Glow. Now the Multi Glow, we have seen it on the round ones before, but it's a different formula. This one I enjoy it quite a bit because you can use it more as a finishing powder for not all over the face, but the perimeters of your face, the high points of your cheeks, that is acting more as a true luminizer than a highlighter. And this one is a luminizer still, but borderline highlighter beautiful formulas i mean so exquisite big gelée super easy to blend not emphasizing i mean like when i'm telling you these are the kind of luminizers that they do not emphasize your texture yes these are stunning they remind me a lot to the luminizers by dior that good they are so 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 good and also the ones from chanel incredible good you pick and choose whichever one you want I will be using both of them absolutely in love in love with these products and definitely i will be reviewing the new single eye shadows that they don't only come in the we thought before that it was going to be just four shades i think there are seven shades total a green one a duochrome blue one they are coming my way and i will be doing a review for them okay and then talking about eyeshadows natasha denona and my dream palette what a dream an absolute <laughs> dream she did incredible i'm using this palette today it takes you right into fall with these kind of wine burgundy tones and then some warm tones that just call for winter and this beautiful dual chrome of green and pink it's just like the the, the ever-changing leaves of fall that's what it is it's totally a dream i'm using today this shade this shade on the outer corner, this shade all over the mobile lid and then right in the middle, I apply a little bit of this shade. Totally a winner. If you like these midi palettes from Natasha Denona, you're gonna love it. And don't say anybody, but I know there's another midi palette coming. And if you remember that we were all asking for a green palette, wait and see, because it's coming soon. I have seen it already. So stay tuned because I will be giving you more details, okay? Let me tell you that. And talking about these full, like warm looks, I tried this Rowan Gold Last Eyeshadow Quad, and I'm so impressed with Rowan formulation. Now, these are all cream eyeshadows. Well, not all, three of them are cream eyeshadows. They are worn with a little bit, like one of them has a little bit more of cool tone, but then you have this amazing, shade over here that oh, is just bronzy tone this is the type of palette that can definitely take you from summer to fall so easily and so beautifully 
I'm just in love with Rhyme formulation. I, I don't know why it has taken me so long to try this formula from Rhyme. I don't know why. And this eyeshadow palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, honestly, when you see it, I think it's the background. Perhaps if the background they had made it black, people will have appreciated more. But this is full in a palette. I think that Anastasia Beverly Hills has done an amazing job with this rose metals palette. It gives you that grungy. This is what we're gonna see during fall and winter time. Cool tones, grungy kind of looks, and definitely to me, this is the modern take of the makeup my Mario with Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. That's it. I as soon as I saw these, and mostly when I saw it in person, it's like yes this is it and let me tell you that this shade haze is one of the most beautiful taupey shades that I have seen with a little bit of green tone it's just stunning and it looks amazing on the eyelid it looks like if your eyelid is wet it's just incredible the formula here is creamy soft pigmented there's not really fallout I mean like you you will see kickback, but as long as you tap your brush, you are safe. This palette, it's a must for fall and winter. Let me tell you that. You will see a lot of these color stories. Uh, same thing with the purples and those wine colors throughout the entire fall and winter season. And from Chanel, I have a still digging into my Chanel quads, the tweed quads, but the one that I have been using quite a bit, like I find it to be very easy for me, is the tweed number one, Coure. Also, I love um, Brun et Rose. That's a beautiful one for nighttime, very cool tone. But this one is just such a beauty. I mean, it gives me that, you know, that beauty of summer that you know, my friends, that I love summer, but as well, it takes me into fall. And yes, I have already a backup of this one. Do I need a backup? No, absolutely not. But I'm just digging into it. And I know I know that perhaps I even gonna hit fan on this one. That's how much I love it. And then from tone four, I try this beauty. This is Violet Satan. Do you see what I see? Yeah, this is a new cover, a new packaging, a new type of compact with a TF on the front and this is Violet Satan. This takes you again another amazing fall palette. Do you see this shade? Wow! And then you have these deeper tones, eggplant thick kind of tones that are just so beautiful. Look at these! It will make your eyes look wet. And in combination, this and this, it gives you the perfect sophisticated purple tone. This is a fantastic, well-executed palette. I know there is Velours Khaki too, which is more of like a green palette. Um, I'm right there in to get it because this formula, this is the cream formula from Tone 4, is just exquisite, stunning. I'm talking about eyes and actually mascara. Oh my goodness, I'm just so impressed with the new Tower 28 mascara. I was like, wait a second. So I received PR from them and I haven't tried it yet on camera, but you will see a try on haul of new products here on my channel. It gives me volume, length, separation, and the most incredible thing is the one. Usually by the one, I can tell if it's a volume you know, like if it will give me volume and length. This one is completely different. I just think that the formula is extraordinary because the amount of volume, length and separation that this <laughs> mascara give me, it's just incredible. By the one I thought, ah, oh, this is just gonna give me some length and separation, but not volume. No, 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 the complete opposite. It gave me the whole three things in the most immensely way, no flaking, is stunning and you can use it also on the lower lashes but on the lower lashes usually I like to use to be mascaras from my lower lashes and the one that I have been enjoying is the one by M Cosmetics so to be mascara you can use it obviously on your upper lashes but I like how nice it gives me the finition on my lower lashes you see like this type of wand is nice black it doesn't smudge it doesn't flake it doesn't leave like strings I mean just just perfection but before I try the one by Tower 28 I just decided to take out my Chantecaille Fossil Longest Lashes 
this mascara is absolutely stunning. It's kind of like the Tower 28 that it's really impressive. It's like when you apply it, you first think like, no, this is not going to give me anything. And then all of a sudden you find yourself with a lot of volume, with a lot of length, with full, full lashes, like they look kind of fake. It's just incredible. So this is another mascara that at the beginning of the month of September, I was using quite a bit. And then I tried the Tower 28 one. And I'm like, wow, wow, these are becoming just better and better and better and better. And just it's hard to really be like, okay, this is better than the other one, but just incredible formulations in general. And for the lips, this combo right here is by Natasha Denona. My dream collection is the combination of the Natasha Lip Liner, the Natasha Lipstick in a new improved formula that is a little bit more satin, gorgeous formulation, and then the lip gloss. Wow, this is the combo that I have right now and it's the one that I'm rocking and the one that I don't want to let go. These three right here, to me, are a must. I really love the definition that this shade gives me. It's not, it's not deep, actually. It's the perfect, just my lips but better shade that will give you, again, you know, definition, just control around your lips. Then the lipstick is a little bit more cool tone and lighter, but again, the formula is creamy, but without being thick and more into the satin finish. And then the lip gloss gives this milky effect that is just very beautiful, but with a cooler undertone that makes your, look, your lips look a little bit more, you know, the entire look of this area right here looks a little bit more seductive. Beautiful products by Natasha Denona. And let me just show to you, like, this is, this is the shade. And by the way, I have reviews of all of these products. Isn't this gorgeous? Talking about lipsticks, oh my goodness. Okay, Clé de Paul, the new formula from Clé de Paul. I mean, Clé de Paul lipsticks, they had always been wonderful, but these two shades, I have been rocking them. Tantalizing that I don't like to say too much about it because I know it's hard to get right now. Perhaps they have already replenished it. It's a little bit, as you can tell, warmer undertone than the one from Natasha Denona. Beautiful shade. If you like the perfect nude tone that is a little bit on the warmer side, you're gonna love these. But if you want a little bit of cooler tone, go with 11, Trump and Tony. This is kind of like the Natasha Denona one. A little bit lighter though. You see right there with that pinky undertone. Love the formulation. They are super soft, thin. You have to reapply them, but oh, they are just fantastic. And then I have been still rocking my Chanel lipsticks from the Fall Nude Collection. The one that I have used quite a bit is Illusion. It's more of like, um, my, you know, like, a very light nude tone not too too light but I think it's again another perfect nude just stunning and still rocking a demi mo which is 195 incredible I think both Clé de Paul Chanel did amazing on these collections here oh just Fantastic. A Demi Mole is also an ideal shade, like an everyday shade. And then I went ahead and purchased some of the new shades of the makeup by Mario. These are kind of like his, what to call it, plumping lip serums. That's the name of it. Honey Glow. This is the perfect shade for fall time. Look at this brown tone. I know that you are barely going to be able to see it, but when you see it on the lips, Oh my goodness, the perfect brown tone for fall, perfection. Not being too much. I don't like to be like super bold for every day, but if you want a beautiful brown tone, mm, this gives it to me. And then one of the last products that I want to talk about is this beauty by Sonia G, the Jumbo Bronzer Brush. These went out of stock in pretty much immediately after lunch. When I received it, the bristles were a little bit not in their perfect condition. I washed it and they all came through beautifully. This is Dye Go Hair 
super soft, amazing for powder bronzer. It's just incredible. I love the softness, the airy effect, also the shape, how the ferrule is pinched. And so give you this oval effect that is just perfect for bronzer application. It's one of my most ideal brushes. You know that I love my Jumbo Base by Sonegy for applying bronzer, but this one, it kind of gives me, it resembles a little bit perhaps to my Tom 405 brush, just a little bit, but I think that Tom 4 Jumbo brush, it's not only more dense, more thick and wider. So this one will give you more of like an airbrush effect. Well, the one by Tom Ford, if you have the one, this is natural hair bristles. They don't do them anymore. They, they have them, but it's not natural hair bristles. This one is fantastic, but at the same time, it gives you a lot of application. So if you have a very light bronzer and you really want, you know, go a little bit heavier, then you go with this one. Same thing with the 22 brush by Refer. This one is exactly pretty much the same as the 05 by Tom Ford with kind of that same density. This one is more airy. This will give you more an airbrush effect. Kind of the same shape, but again, not as dense. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm sure it will come back in stock because it's part of the collection for Sonia G. When it gets back into stock, don't hesitate. Go for it. And then a product that I want to do a mention, and I didn't want to include it here on my favorites because I haven't had enough time to, you know, use it, but it's the new Patrick Tab Blush Palette. It is stunning. It's beautiful. It does the job as it's supposed to. Gorgeous. I have a full review with swatches. I did comparisons of each of the shades, not only of this palette. I went ahead and grabbed the volume number one and did one side of my face with volume number one and then this volume number two. You have to go ahead and watch it. But what I like about it is that it's buildable. It does have pigment, but it's not as pigmented as the first one. So this one is more cater, I, I say for fair, all the way to medium, medium close to deeper skin tones. I really like the formulation, but I think that I like about this palette too is the creams. The creams are not as pigmented as before. Nothing that is bad, but I'm thinking this could be a teaser of how it's going to be the highlighter, which this is one of the highlighters of the many ones that they are gonna come. But if the pigmentation of the highlighters are gonna be like this, I'm just very impressed. I think these are gonna be just a winner in my heart. Very nice pigment that is just give you the most beautiful gloss. Very, very, very lovely. Very, very good palette. I'm, I'm gonna be using it this month of October for sure and then I will get back to you about it. And just a, kind of like an honorable mention right here is the Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio. I enjoy this highlighter, but the thing that I love the most is the blush. It is kind of like that rosy blush by Gucci, that good, but it's kind of like that rosy blush by Gucci, that good of a shade, but I'm not putting it necessarily the whole thing on my favorites because I feel like this highlighter, uh, it doesn't give it to me. It's just, it just emphasizes a little bit of texture. I really love this highlighter and the blush. I mean, like these two right here would have make it just perfect. Alrighty, my friends, and this makes it for my favorites for the month of September. I cannot believe it. We're already in October, three months, and we are done with 2022. Can you believe that? It feels so bittersweet and sad in a in a way, but it is what it is. Let's see what else is coming into fall. I know right now we're receiving an abundance of new releases for the holiday of 2022, which is crazy, but hey, here we are. I will now love to know from you, my friends, what are the products that you have been enjoying so, so much during the month of September? Let's just continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell to miss any of my uploads come and follow me on my instagram if you are on tiktok please come and follow me on tiktok help me grow my family there and if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye